So hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, it's Flanny TV and on this channel we talk about lifestyle. We do cooking videos, we do natural videos, we do a little bit of everything. So just go ahead and subscribe to this channel because definitely there is something for you. So guys, welcome back to another pregnancy series and on today's video I'll be giving you an update of what has been happening. I'm full term. Um, presently I'm 38 weeks pregnant. Finally, finally, we are getting to an end of this journey, okay? So on today's video, I'll just be giving you an update of what has been happening during this, um, is it full term period? Yeah, something like that, okay? So, just keep on watching if you want to get the whole gist, if you want to like know everything that's been happening, just keep on watching. So guys, welcome back to this video. If you're new here, hi and welcome to join the family. Do not forget to subscribe on this channel. We are on a pregnancy series and I'm a first time mom. I'm a first time pregnant, <laughs> pregnant woman living out of a country, currently living in China, okay? So on this series, I share basically everything about my pregnancy journey, what has been, what I have learned what I knew before getting pregnant and what I'm learning throughout the pregnancy period, okay? So if you're interested, just go ahead and subscribe to this channel and or keep on following or keep on watching all the videos. There is a playlist that has all the videos about this pregnancy series. So if you want to know everything, just click on the playlist and then you go ahead to watch all the videos so that you get everything, everything. You won't miss out on anything, okay? So as I earlier said, today, I'm, um, yesterday I turned 38 weeks pregnant and i just want to give you an update very quick update okay so without so much talking let's get into the video so on um, before i continue with this video whatever i let me just do this disclaimer i don't know if it's a disclaimer or whatsoever but whatever i'm saying here this is just what i think this is what i want for myself okay i'm not an ob i'm not a medical doctor i'm not a nurse i'm not anything 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 okay so whatever i'm saying here this is just me talking on my own point of view talking about what i want for myself like doing my own things okay so nobody should come for me nobody should judge me all right yeah so okay let's get into the video so on monday i went for my 37 week scan presently i go to the hospital i do um antenatal visit every week but for the scan i do it twice um like after every two weeks okay so on monday i had to do a scan and at that time i was 37 that's seven um plus four days okay so almost 38 weeks but let's just let let that let's just end it at 37 weeks so i did that scan and um, everything is fine as of now everything is fine like from the beginning of the pregnancy everything has always been fine wait for the scan and my baby is already 3.4 3.4 kg so that is somehow a concern for me all right it is a concern i'm talking all of this based on me based on my own point of view okay based on my i'm making this emphasis to be very very clear out there whatever i'm saying is based on my own point of view so after the scan i noticed the baby is very big and it raised somehow a concern to me because if at 37 weeks my baby is that big what about the weeks that are going to follow but i don't want to go about the weeks that are going to follow because before pregnancy or during the early stage of pregnancy i've never been the advocate of um 40 weeks pregnant i've always wanted a baby at 37 38 weeks that is always what i've wanted for myself so when i went to the hospital and i was told that and i've not even been having like um uh, maybe um even forced contraction i'm not sure i have had it i don't know maybe i had it and i didn't notice it if it's not that painful that i can't notice but as I know myself, I've not had it. All the first contractions, I've not had one. As of now, I've not had it. So I don't even know how contraction feels like. I don't know how first contraction feels like. So I went to the hospital and that was the, the report I got. So I was somehow concerned. If at 37 weeks, my baby is that, what about the weeks that are going to follow? And uh, so I was somehow worried. 
yeah it got me worried so i came back home when i came back home i tried as much as possible to to i started doing stuff that are going to induce labor okay <laughs> somebody will tell me it's early i know i know it's early but that that is what i want i, I want my baby at 37 38 weeks that is what i want so i came back home and i tried i started with no more exercises um i was doing like the normal exercise because on before even before the scan i was like doing my normal 30 minutes work every day so after the scan i increased it i walked for 30 minutes and maybe i'll because where i live there is like a staircase okay we live in um how do they call it a story building yeah where we live there is it is 18th floor 18th floor story building i don't know if that english is even correct but anyways you guys understand what i'm talking about where we live is 18th floor story building so i walk for 30 minutes and i try as much as possible to climb the stairs okay i use the stair the staircase and i try to climb go up and i come down so i came back um from that from the scan and i tried that i'll climb the stairs go up come down for the first day i did it just once second day i did it twice like i'll go up climb the stairs up i descend and i go up again and i descend and i come back home so that is what i've been doing just hoping i induce level i did that and as the days goes by that's how i try to increase it okay up to a point where i i, I like i climb how do i mean like i double the steps <laughs> like i would do when climbing i would double the steps i wouldn't just climb maybe one 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 and be going up i'll double double like two steps and i climb two steps and i climb two steps and i climb just to induce level but nothing is happening i don't know what is going on here somehow somehow i feel it's because throughout my pregnancy i've been active very active so i feel like okay this is just normal exercise so you there there is no pressure that is going out there since i have been always um, active okay so i've been doing that try different means to induce labor but nothing is happening and the whole thing is getting me frustrated i can't lie this whole situation is actually getting me so so frustrated i know someone will tell me it's not your time just just let the baby be and when the baby wants to come out the baby will come out but this is not what i want for myself i know i'm carrying a baby okay what about myself this is not what i want i wanted my baby like my plan was baby come out within 37 to 38 weeks and this is 38 weeks and the baby doesn't have any hopes to come out so i've done all the means to try to induce uh, to induce level but nothing is happening also i so i went now on youtube i started watching some videos there is this video that the the, the lady that did it she did it i think eight years ago so the comment section like everyone was like oh i did it two days but I, um, I started having labor contraction i did it immediately i started my water broke i did it i did it i did it. i said okay let me try to let me go and do the exercise and i see I tried exercise nothing happened nothing happened <laughs> I watched another video they said okay eat pineapple pineapple helps to soften your cervix I've eaten pineapples nothing is happening what should I do I am getting frustrated first my baby's weight second the time my like my time what I want for myself is not what is happening so the whole issue is just getting me so so frustrated i don't know what to do anymore i don't know like i'm frustrated i am really really frustrated i can't lie i can't come here and pretend i'm frustrated so today i just decided to talk let me just let me talk baby well, once i talk it out like once i say it out i'll somehow be free i don't know but i just decided to like let me just pour it out also let me even talk about this vagina birth and the baby's size okay the like the whole thing just see here guys like the whole problem is just about the baby's size it has even caused me even to eat food now is more than me i'm afraid i don't even want to eat food 
like i am afraid to eat food so that i won't add the baby size again you can imagine so at this point i am pregnant i am 38 weeks pregnant and i'm not eating i don't know if i'm doing harm to my own self or i'm doing harm to the baby i don't even know but that is the situation as of now i don't even want to eat because i don't want to add the baby's weight and i don't know if it's even causing harm to the baby or it's causing harm to myself i don't even know that is the situation i'm finding myself now so i am super super confused i don't know what to do anymore i've tried all that i can try and uh, the baby doesn't want to come out so sometimes i feel like just giving up let me just stay let me just sit when the baby wants to come out the baby will come out but i am tired yes i'm tired of being pregnant I'm tired of having this fat face. <laughs> I'm tired. Like, I am tired. I want the baby out. It's 38 weeks. Come out, please. I'm just so tired. I'm so frustrated. So I decided to come and talk here. Please, nobody should judge me. Nobody should tell me anything. This is just what I want for myself. Okay? This is just what I want for myself. There are some people without okay, they can they can cook their baby up to 40 weeks and even more. It's okay, but this is not what I want. This is not my plan. And you know when your plans are not matching, like what you plan and what is happening is not matching, it gives you more and more frustration. That, so that's just what that's the situation I am. That's just the position I'm finding myself in now. So please let's talk in the comment section. What should I do? do you guys have another option for me what what can i do for this baby to come out what can i do to induce level i don't actually want to go um i just want to induce it naturally i don't want to have any other um i just want natural induction i just want the level to come out naturally so that's why you see me doing like natural stuff okay yeah so let me stop talking i'm ranting yes i know i've ranted in this video a lot bro let's talk in the comment section if you have any suggestions for me what do you think <laughs> let's just talk in the comment section okay yeah so guys that's it for this video and please i'm waiting for your comments down there just tell me what what should i do what should i do what should i do i want this baby out what should i do i've even begged the baby i've talked to this baby it seems as if the baby is just like the baby is bukaying everywhere like your carrier shoulders up now it's your time just carry very soon be my time i'll carry too the baby doesn't want to listen the baby is carrying the shoulders up it's okay so yeah so guys that's it for this video and i'm waiting for your suggestions i'm waiting for your comments down there and see you guys in my next video i hope fingers crossed hope my next video will be my birth vlog mm. I just can't wait but i just hope my next video will be a better vlog i'm just praying i'm praying so hard that should be i'm just like so guys see you guys in my next video bye